Oh, hello. What's going on? I sense danger. <laughs> really? Well, thank you, Spider-Man. Your spider senses have detected a threat. I would not have imagined that these three these three shabbily dressed men wielding clubs would at all be a danger to us. We've been waiting for you, travelers from Silverant. The Pope promised to lighten our sentences if we got rid of you. Yeah, that sounds like a Pope thing. We've got nothing personal against you, but we need you to die. Wow, the Pope has basically decreed uh, release all convicts who are willing to murder some folks, and if they do, their prison sentence will be reduced. That is, that is absolutely insane. Just the sentence alone. Wow. All right, so now we've got to kill some. I don't know. These guys look like they'd go down real easy. I feel like this isn't a very um, fair fight. Kind of like how the Pope might be sending a bunch of convicts to their doom. I guess they are surprisingly resilient. Considering I've fought in people with armor who would have gone down by now, uh, I find this really strange. Like, they, these guys are these guys are wielding sticks and shabby clothing. Like, how are the how are the rats able? That doesn't make any sense. All right, fine. If that's the way things gotta be, just stab all the convicts till there ain't nothing left for them to actually use. So are they dead or did we just beat them up? That's what we need to know. Nope, they are not dead. We just beat the hell out of them. Ah. <laughs> okay. Sneak attack. Don't move. If you move, the chosen dies. Understand? I have suddenly gained the unbelievable compulsion to start moving. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You think you can get away with doing something like this to the chosen? Considering you're apparently a traitor, I don't think they care anymore. One who plots the destruction of the world can no longer be deemed chosen. Ah. Oh. Hey, Lloyd. If you abandon me here, I swear I'll come back to haunt you. I just had a sudden violent urge to abandon you. <laughs> oh. Lovely. Whoa, hello. Whew. <laughs> and awkward. You are... Retreat for now. Thanks a lot, Genus. He's very clearly plot important. Look at the guy. A ridiculously amount of effort went into his character design. He was clearly going to do something important or say something mind-blowing about Persea, and then you interrupted it. Thanks. Damn, these guys are too strong. Dang it. Well, that's another mystery Looks for like later. It's over for now. Thank goodness everyone's okay. Awesome. Great. We seem to have a really bad habit of letting that happen to us. <laughs> it's like, well, that would have that would have been a neat little plot twist we could have been able to solve. Oh, and apparently it's a mimic or a fake. All right, fine. The question is, can we defeat the? Okay, no, no, we cannot. No, we cannot. Dang it! It's just like that last mimic all over again. Crap! 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 Okay, bring me back and then run away. Everybody run! Everybody run away and try not to fight back. Those things do not mess around. Yes, hate those things. And the function of the sorcery ring has returned to normal. All right, that's cool. I'm pretty sure it turns back to normal whether or not you deliberately do so or not, but did we already make it out? Oh, well, that's awesome. Great. I, I kind of expected a boss fight or something. Yeah, now we can meet my friends. Where are your friends? At a place called the Elemental Research Laboratory. I learned my summoning arts there. It's also where Corrine was born. Okay, let's go to the Elemental Research Laboratory place then. Who's Corrine? Who is that, and why would I Why would I know who that is? <laughs> All right, uh, hello. We'll always show our professional smile, even if you're wanted criminals. Oh, is that how we're going? <laughs> so wait, can I buy stuff from you? Like, we're professionals, so we'll sell stuff to people who are clearly criminals. Uh, so no, I don't care about your stupid exploration team. I'm looking for stuff. This is the item shop, Melton. And it's a boring place. Good, awesome. You're not even selling weapons. What about you? No matter how much you buy, you can't use items in the Coliseum. Uh, okay, apparently there's a Coliseum in this place, so I'm sure we'll end up fighting in there at some point. Um, hmm. If I knew that prior, I had forgotten in the in the time that it take it that's taken me to play this game again. All right, so where exactly would this place be? Do you know? Chosen one, what did you do? Uh, literally nothing, actually. Uh, okay, apparently everyone is aware of this fact. Interesting. All right. 
I guess I'll just kind of wander around town until I can figure something out. They say you should not fear trouble and work hard when you're young, but it's best to avoid it once you get older. Uh, okay. Th that's deep, I guess? Uh, elemental research facility place. Does anybody know where I could find that? Uh, something about a flower seller. Okay. Da -da -da, shouldn't have gone gambling. Okay, so I, I mean, I'm in the slums. I'm guessing this probably isn't the place. Do you know where it is? When a city flourishes, areas like this develop naturally. Yeah, I, I guess. Every every town seems to have slums somewhere. Uh, is this the place? Hello, peoples? Gina, it's you! Uh, could... Kuchina... Uh, that's almost like ku, Kunichiwa. Kuchiawa, whatever. Or why are you here? I'm on a top secret mission that I'm just going to blurt out, I guess. What about you? I'm in a bit of trouble, actually. My friends and I need to get across the bridge. Friends? Hmm, they're not from Mizuho. They're from Silverant. Yay, we're friends. Learning everyone, this is a friend from Mizuho. His name is Kuchinawa. Sheena and I grew up together. Pleased to meet you. Oh, that's nice. Pleased to meet you. I'll go talk to the people in the laboratory. Uh, okay. We'll just kind of awkwardly hang out here then. You know, being wanted criminals and stuff. Let's go along and listen too. Oh, okay. That's insane. What's wrong? No, oh, why'd you follow me? Listen to this. They want us to cross the sea in an elemental cargo. An element what? Elemental cargo, typically called EC. It's a compact transport vehicle controlled by X-Spheres. Its maximum load weight is 1,400 kilograms, and maximum speed is more than three times faster than an unguarded X-Sphere equipped carriage. They are currently used primarily by shipping companies for delivery services. Hey, what are we, packages? The elemental cargo absorbs mana from the atmosphere and ejects it into the air, producing a counter-reaction that propels it forward. Oh, okay. So basically, it's powered by magic farts. So if we use Undini for that, we get an EC that can surf. Surf? Isn't there any other way? The bridge is closed. You don't need the unnecessary... You don't have the necessary... You don't need... You, know, you don't have the necessary identification to use an ocean liner. And on top of that, there are two half-elves with you. Not that again. That's the kind of world Thalia is. We too hardly ever get to leave this building. I wonder why everyone can't get along. Because that's just kind of how the world works. People hate each other. It's what happens. Oh well, there's no point in getting all gloomy. So, will you make that modified EC for us? If you'll wait a day, we'll have it ready. Okay, well then, let's go rest at my mansion. The Pope's minions aren't going to be waiting for us there. We're going to have to spend the night in the city, so it doesn't matter where we are, it'll still be dangerous. Yeah, I guess you're right. We could stay in the sewer. My mansion's in the nobles' quarter to the right of Castle Thethal. It's a, conspic it's a conspicuously big building, so you can't miss it. Ah, alright then, fine. Okay, whoa, are, th are those bugs? Wait, no, those seem to be glowing magical thingamabobbers. Okay. Could've fooled me, they looked like they might have been roaches or something walking around. Uh, turns out it's some kind of magic flibbity what's it. Alright, so now I gotta go find a mansion. Given the camera angle, that's not exactly the easiest thing, but okay, fine. We need to go to the upper crusts, I suppose. And then look around up here, I guess. Hello? Okay, well this is clearly not a mansion, but it's something. Oh, I'm guessing an armor shop, perhaps. Welcome to the armor shop. We've got stuff. Some stuff you want, some stuff you don't want. Either way, we've got stuff. All right, and yeah, I don't have nearly enough money to go through with all that noise. Yeesh. I will, I'll, I always, I'm going to equip off screen. It's just the more economical way of going about things. Oh, hello. On this side, you've made summon spirits into research subjects as well. Yes, in order to use mana as energy, it's most efficient to study the summon spirits themselves. Okay. Is the little weird thing there, the the, the foxy guy, the, the the Corrine or whatever? I oppose summon spirit research. Uh, uh, why? I just do. Corrine suffered painful experiments during the, exper the experimental stage. Oh, that's right. Corrine is a man-made summon spirit. Wait, we... Okay, apparently that's a thing we just know. Uh-oh. Run for it. Come back here this instant. Oh, she was gonna, like, experiment on him, too. Alright. Was I supposed to know who that was? Uh, I mean, I know that she's got, like, a fox thing going around, but we would rather avoid the castle. Oh, this is the castle. Derp. Okay. Um, where am I currently? Uh, over here, maybe? Ah, okay. <laughs> like, I'm trying to figure out. Like, we, we've never really been introduced to that little fox thing. It's just kind of been around Sheena, and I'm 
I guess we're supposed to know that. Uh, this looks like a very large building. Hello. It's not time for the dinner party yet. Uh, okay. I'm guessing that's probably not it then. Then I'll oh, way over to this place. Hello. Chosen one, is it all right if I report you to the church? Yeah, you, you really have to ask that. All right, this looks like a big fancy building. Man, Colette didn't get this kind of stuff. Welcome home, Chosen One. Yo, I'm back. Anything happened while I was gone? I was instructed by the Pope and an emissary of His Majesty Thalia, the 18th, to report as soon as the Chosen returned. You can just ignore that. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's easy. And uh, who is the guest with the two swords? My bud. <laughs> My bud. Just make yourselves at home. Is there anything you need, sir Bud? <laughs> Please speak to me. Oh, dear. My name's not Bud. Eh, bud! Oh, and everybody's all dispersed about all over the dang place. Okay, oh, hi, how's it going? Uh, I guess I talk to people? Eh, smells nice. Huh? What, is it weird for me to be looking at flowers? No, why would it be? <laughs> why would that be considered an odd thing? Okay, um, you looking at a painting? Meline Wilder, it seems this is a portrait of Zealous' mother. Oh, neat. Alright. He said that this fireplace ignites by one touch. What's one touch? I don't know, why are you asking me? Why would I know anything about this crazy place? Will you be retiring to bed now? Like I've got anywhere else to go? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let it begin! Okay then, let's go to the Elemental Research Laboratory. Colette, what's wrong? What are you being all whiny about today? Hmm, I think I slept wrong. My shoulder feels stiff. And your head's at an angle. Are you alright? Eh, sorry. Well, that was a completely necessary <laughs> moment that was given to us. A character complaining about sleeping wrong. Awesome. That's that's need to know information. Anybody remember that scene of the Avengers when Tony Stark woke up and he was all like, Man, I got a major crick in my neck. And everyone has, like talked about it for a minute. Yeah, that was a good scene. I like that scene. That was the best scene. Okay, so I think it's directly below us. Directly below us. And I am correct. Awesome. Go me for once. Now give us our cargo ship. Welcome back. Everything's ready. Where's the EC? Guys, the axe carried it away already. He's got it. What? I thought. I. Mm, could, I don't know. I thought Konnichiwa talked to you about it, and I guess he didn't. Go to the artificial beach on the right side of the Grand Tahala Bridge. Konnichiwa should be waiting there. I'll also take this with you. What's this? What do you mean, what's this? It's a wing pack. You store the EC in it. And this? Is the elemental cargo that small? Ah, I see they don't have wing packs in Silverant. And you guys are a bunch of country folk. Get off my back. Gee, sorry. Eh, don't get mad now. I'll show you how to use it later. Come on, let's get going. Wait just a second. Coming out, Corrine. Oh, well, now we're referring to him by name. Okay. We're going to be gone for a while, so say goodbye to everyone. It's all right. They aren't going to do any more weird experiments on you. Corrine, how have you been? Look after Sheena for us. I hate this place. I hate... I have Sheena, so I won't be lonely. For a second, I thought you said I hate Sheena. That would be really awkward. Corrine, don't talk like that. Goodbye. Gee, how else would he have, how else would he have, ex you know, reacted? I guess Kareen still hates us. Yeah, being a living test subject tends to do that to people. And I got a wing pack, apparently. Okay, not entirely sure what that is, but we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so if we got to leave town, then we're probably going to have to go back through the sewers again. That sucks. I can't wait to board the EC. Lloyd sure is carefree about this. That's his M.O. No kidding. It's ridiculous that we're going to be riding on the ocean in something that is designed as a land vehicle. You think so? It sounds a lot more reliable than those wash tubs. Wash tubs? No way, don't tell me that in Silverhunt you cross the ocean on wash tubs. Uh, just thinking about those wash tubs is making me sick. <laughs> and then they don't correct him. So that's just going to be what he thinks. That's fun. Alright. I'm just assuming I can't leave through the front gate. That would... Be far too convenient. So, can I go back in here? Yes, I can. Quick jump? Yes! Straight through. Don't... There we go. Thank you, game design. Huh. I'm glad they thought ahead on that one. Would have been a pain in the butt like no one's business. Alright, so... Gotta go to the artificial bridge. Next to... I mean, the artificial beach. That's by the... Uh, bridge. 
Wow, major brain fart there. Completely forgot where I was, what I'm doing, and why I was doing it. Ugh, all right. This is gonna be cake. Why did it jumble up my team again? Ah, it does that whenever we briefly disband. We were barely, we were barely separated for half a second. Sheesh. Fine. Out of the way, bedsheet ghost. Ah, there's a giant. Yeah, there's an April fly. Eh, or a mayfly, whatever its actual name is. I don't know. <laughs> People in my house just call it whatever, whatever month it is. Fly. Either way. Zelos, I do not recall giving you permission to have anything. Oh, no, not you. Zelos, I did not. You did clearly did not have permission to do any of the things that you were just doing there, so knock it off. Okay, so artificial beach. By the bridge. The dock, I guess. No? Oh, wait, hang on. Is something there? Okay, well, that's not really a, a beach. Artificial or not, I wouldn't call that a beach, but. I guess I can go over through this area. Uh, Kuchinawa should be waiting for us at the bottom of the right staircase. Okay, then let's go. Well, how about that? All right, I didn't even know there was a staircase over here. Oh, well, what do you know? There is. Huh. Uh, I guess I didn't really bother in exploring it anyway. It is locked. Hm. All right, I'll take care of it. Apparently, Lloyd is a locksmith. Go figure. Oh, Lloyd, you're amazing. At least he's useful for certain things. His face loses out to mine, though. Why all y'all gotta be so mean? What does my face gotta do with anything? And then lots of giggles were happening. You can see the bridge. Whoa, that's a lot of X-Spheres. Oh, you're right. Are those decoration-looking things X-Spheres? That's right, Colette. The bridge is operated by X-Spheres. It's a bit gross-looking. It certainly is grotesque, although knowing where X-Spheres come from, I'm not sure it's appropriate to describe them that way. Eh, yeah, I guess so. It's weird. Like, eh, okay, so this bridge is powered by the dead. Do you, like, go, wow, that's morbid and disturbing, but at the same time, like, that's really kind of rude to the dead people that are helping this bridge work? Either way, awkward as all get out, let's just move on. Alright, so, yo, hello, are you the person? Yes, you are, you're wearing a weird suit. That means you're vaguely important. It took you a little long enough. This is the EC. Okay, Lloyd, try using that pack you just got. Okay, let's see. Like this? Oh, well, that's just freakishly convenient. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, that's incredible. Wow, how does it work? Why do I feel like I've seen this before? Professor? You keep talking about deja vu, and I'm concerned about that. What did I call you? Professor Swizzle Sticks? Yeah. See, it fits inside. It disappeared. It's amazing. That's so cool. Let's try bringing it back out. A zoom. Fancy pantsy. That is neat. That's enough goofing around. How about sitting on your way? Yeah, yeah. All right. I can't wait to make use of this EC. This is great. You know, you'll just get bored with it in no time. Genus, you're the worst best friend ever. Hey, we can get to go out to sea. We're going to sea, aren't we? Indeed. We're going to see. Let's get going then. Off to Cyback. As she dramatically points in that direction. Dork. Sheena, take this with you. A protective charm? Yes, be careful. Ah, and we've received some sort of charm. Is that an equipable thing? I guess I'll have to check. Undini. Still seal sounds weird. I like calling it Undyne. Because that's how I've always pronounced it in stuff like this. Then crazy magic happens, and now it's a boat. Huzzah! Good for us. Not the fastest moving ship, but, uh, eh. A boat's a boat. Eventually, we'll probably get a plane, or, you know, some kind of airship. That's usually how all RPGs end up going. You can get on board the EC from any of the piers, located in various places on the field map. Control stick, tilt, uh, da, 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 A button to move forward, C stick to move forward or backward. L and R buttons rotate the camera. Press the B button when out of pier to disembark. Okay. So, what I gotta do, what I know right off the bat is we wanna go to the other side of the bridge and get back to that crazy elf lady. Even though I feel like people would be just as likely to try and, like, trap us. And, like, I mean, that's where we were originally arrested. Alright then, either way, we got to where we needed to go, so that's handy. Onwards, onwards and upwards we go, 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 out of the way, weird creature, blobby man. 
I do like that there are like multiple different blobby type people. I know it's late in the game to be saying stuff like that, but still. Kratos. Dang it, not you again! Are you trying to take Colette away? Probably. I have no intention of fighting you inside the city. <laughs> wow. You still lack the skills to defeat me. I sincerely doubt that. You just have plot armor backing you up. If we were in an actual fight, I could totally beat you. Don't insult me. I merely speak the truth. And it turns out that that makes you seem like a colossal jerk. Considering the character you share a name with, eh, I guess it just, it's, what's in a name? Apparently your entire personality. Chosen one. If you wish to live, you must remove that worthless key crest. Nope, not doing that. No. Thank you. I'm never taking it off. Lloyd gave this to me. Foolish sentiments. He wasn't after Colette? I guess he was just here to be a jackass and then leave. Man, what an arrogant SOB. Talking as if he knows everything. Parallels. While we're on the subject of ways of talking, why don't you do something about the vulgar language? Okay, well, first of all, you don't know that I said anything, but I'll apologize to the fictional character. And secondly, he didn't really... S I, I don't like Zealous, but he didn't actually say anything. <laughs> anyway, Lloyd, we must go see this Kate person. Yeah, let's get going. Man, I hate it when other characters have the same names as my characters. I know it's not exactly an uncommon name, but still... It's very aggravating. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so the question of the millennium is... Oh, I know what I can do. I can just go through the um, the, the sewer grate. That'll probably get us to where we want to go faster. There we go, because I don't know how to get into the basement from the front of the area. Either way, help us now. It's you. It is us. We saved our friends and came back with Persea just like we promised. So don't betray us or we will cut the hell out of your face. Yes, you're right. The strange matter produced by the fusion of elven and human blood. We really do have health elf friends. We have heard the story. Perse is creating a six crystal inside her body. Yes, that's correct. We call it the Angelus Project. The Angelus Project? That's the project my mom was involved in. Understandable reaction. You gonna tr Are you gonna try and maybe justify the horrible things you've done for no reason? The x -Sphere itself is nothing special, it just has a special key crest placed on it. The key crest delays the x -Sphere's parasitic process, which can take place over a few days or up to several decades. It seems this can cause x to mutate into the six crystals. Is the parasitic infection of the x -Sphere the reason why Persea's emotional response is so subdued? So she's just like Colette. Yeah, pretty much. If we leave Persea like this, what will happen to her? When the parasitic process is complete, she will die. Wow, why is this something you did to her? What did she ever do to you? Nothing. She hasn't done anything. She's just matched in the compatibility test. You promised. You're gonna save her, right? Yes, I know. You didn't discriminate against half-elves. I'll keep my promise. It's that easy. Are you sure? If you do that, you'll... A promise is a promise. In order to save Perseus, speak to a dwarf named Altessa, who lives deep in Gaspacho Forest. There are dwarves in this world, too? Yes, and he participated in this experiment by the order of the Pope. Sheesh, not that pathetic old man again. Don't call him a pathetic old man, he's just a horrible, evil racist who does terrible things to people for stupid reasons. That's not being pathetic or old. Oh my, that's unusual. A half-elf siding with the Pope. I'm not siding with him. And well, clearly you are. Anyway, have I'll test you repair per se's key crest. Lloyd, can't you fix it? To be honest, I can't even tell the difference between this and a normal key crest. It's probably be faster to re uh, search for that dwarf. Then it's settled. Shall we head to the Gaspacho? I, I don't know how to actually pronounce it. So I'm just going to call it the Gaspacho Forest. Isn't Gaspacho cold tomato soup? I don't know. Yeah, though, could there be a connection between the Pope and the designs? Yeah, so I'm wondering about that, too. Possibly. Can you? Okay, good. You're not going to make me not use the, the way out again, are you? Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So that's that, I suppose. I guess I actually have to explore the area and find uh, the Caspacho Forest. How long have I been going about this? Over almost two hours. I can go for a little bit longer. Not a terribly large amount, but some. All right, so actually, I wanted to check out some stuff real quick. I didn't actually get to look around this stuff. There's lots of stuff hidden away, I've, I've learned. 
It seems the Chosen is wanted as a criminal. Apparently, he's trying to lead the world in dictatorial line. Yeah, he does that sometimes. Okay, hold up. First and foremost, do you have, perhaps, any d -d 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 things I can actually afford now? I have a fair amount of money, so yes. Okay, so new weapon for Lloyd. Don't care about Colette or Zelos. We'll get you that. Anything else? Some bridal gloves, apparently. Okay, I'll buy two of those. There we go. Then, all we gotta do is go to here. Equip the new sword. That is actually a pretty substantial boost. Not bad. All right, then... Da -da -da -da, kitchen gloves. <laughs> kitchen mittens. No, we'll go with the bridal gloves, because apparently those provide slightly better defense. And luck, apparently. Not sure how that works. Either way, battle axe. That's a bit more, uh suitable for combat than the woodworking axe you've been going around with. And then bridal gloves for you too. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Okay. And I spent all of my money on just those couple of items. Oi. This game really wants you to make as much money as you possibly can. All right, so I guess I just gotta head this way until I see something that looks like a forest of some description. Okay, let's see. This might be a way into something? Yes, yes it is! Alright, there we go! Uh, 